Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing my very first fall, I guess, kind of video this year. And this year is going to be a makeup tutorial to kick off the fall season, as well as this weekend, I will have a Starbucks video for you guys. Finally, I went out of town. Y'all saw the vlog probably. And yeah, so I'm back to my normal routine. So today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look with the Morphe Ashley Strong palette. I came across this randomly at Ulta with my friend Morgan on Sunday when we were coming back from Colorado. Like we had already come back and we went into Ulta because I was going to get some Tula skincare, which I will do another video on that if you guys are interested. And I came across this palette and I was like so intrigued by the color story of the palette. So I had to pick it up. She actually picked it up as well. So now we are going to be doing a video on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you this adorable palette. So when you open it, you go ahead and open it like this way. And here are the beautiful colors. Look how gorgeous all these colors are. I love, love, love the color story. I think it's such a beautiful and unique color story. I don't personally have any anything like this in my um, makeup collection. So as you guys can see, I did more of a green and gold type of look. And I paired it with this kind of brownish red lip. So if you guys want to know how I got this look using this palette, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I went ahead and just did my eyebrows and concealer off camera so this video wouldn't be too long. I'm sorry about the lighting, it's like midday right now and I have my little lights on hanging in the back and my lamp, like my fan on the dimmest setting and it looks just really weird so I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to y'all. But here is the beautiful palette. It's the Morphe Ashley Strong palette. Like I said, I came across this palette randomly at Ulta and it just opens up like this. Look at the colors. I am just so impressed. I've honestly never seen anything like this palette. So I love how it opens like this and you close it like that. It's so adorable. So when you open it, it has a little quotes and such that are sitting here from Ashley herself. And it says, slow down, stop right there, breathe in, hold for, hold for five seconds. So. and breathe out. There, isn't that better? Hi beautiful, welcome to your day. Do me a favor, say each shade name out loud as you use them, or find a shade name you hear out loud and then use it. <laughs> Let this self-empowerment inspire you. How sweet, remember that the secret to your happiness is inside of you, have fun. And then it has her little signature. I don't know who's texting me, but whatever. <laughs> I love these colors. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I'm gonna, I don't know why it's like so harsh, but I think it's better like looking at this, but this is so beautiful and perfect. Um, and it says, let go, let the love, let the love you gave yourself today fill you up for all the days past. And then it tells you to breathe in for five seconds again. So I am so, so excited to go ahead and use this palette. So let's just go ahead and dig in. Okay, so I honestly have no idea what look I'm going to even go for, but I think I'm going to start with, I want to do like a fall kind of look, but I definitely want to use these greens in the palette. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade, I Am Talented, and that is going to be this shade right here, this like light brown. So I'm just going to take a little Real Techniques brush that looks like this. It's just a soft, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and take I Am Talented a little bit on the brush. And I have a mirror down here, so if I'm looking down at another palette, that is why. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this shade kind of as a transition shade um, because it is a, it's a very light brown. Okay, so I fixed the lighting. I literally had the biggest like blonde moment and didn't have my ring light on. So, duh, but this is what the brown is looking like so far. Um, it's not super patchy or anything, so that is good. But now I think I'm going to be taking the shade, 
I Am Powerful, which is this shade right here. And I'm a little nervous because I've never really worked with greens before. So, oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let's just go ahead and I'm gonna be putting it on this outer corner. <gasps> Whoa, that is a green. I am so excited. I never, I don't think I even have like a green in my, um, like, collection like this so i that's why i just had like when i saw this color this color <laughs> well i guess i when i didn't see this color but when i saw this palette at ulta i literally just had to have it because i was like this green is just perfect so as you can see i'm smoking it out with the brown transition shade and i'm also just putting it on my outer part of my eye and going a little bit into the inner part I have kind of dry eyes right now, so they're, if it's a little bit patchy, that really is my fault. So that's why I'm just going in and packing the shade and then bringing it up to my crease to darken this outer V type of situation. Okay, so, so now that this beautiful green is on the eyes, look how pretty. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So there's no fallout either, which I really really liked because you got to be careful with darker shades because there's always tends to be some fallout but i'm gonna go ahead and blend this really quickly with that same brush with that brown on it um i'm not seeing a lot of patchiness which is also really nice because dark colors tend to be patchy so i'm really glad that there is no patchiness so for the next shade i'm gonna do a little bit of a cut crease and i'm going to be taking the shade i actually really like this like yellow shade right here, which is I am happy. And I'm actually going to be taking that on a, let me see, just some sort of blending brush because I kind of want that with my transition shade. Um, I know that might sound maybe weird to some people, but I really like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna take this Eco Tools brush and go in with I am happy. Um, you can't really see it on the brush, but I really like it. So I'm just going to take it and just go like above kind of like the brow bone. <gasps> oh, and that looks so pretty. It's really subtle and pretty. I think green and yellow, like dark foresty greens and like mustard yellows just look really good together. I'm also, as you can see, bringing it in a little bit farther in so you can see it. And I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, you can. It looks so good, so pretty. Okay, you guys, so I had to go clean up some stuff because the makeup was kind of being patchy and stuff when I put concealer on. Um, let me just say that this is not the palette's fault. This is, oh, this like shadow on my eye, uh, my nose. This is the, my eyes fault because they're so kind of like, crusty right now like my lids they're so dry for some reason so the concealer and shadow just isn't wanting to stay but it's not the um palette's fault but i'm gonna be taking a shimmer in here and i'm actually thinking about taking mm, i'm radiant which is this bad boy right here let me swatch that and see um, oh yeah Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my fingers and do that. Okay, so I Am Radiant is on there. I want it to be a little bit more pigmented, so I just wet a brush and I'm going ahead and putting it on that inner corner. Um, is the brush even like wet? There we go. I took some MAC Fix Plus and I'm just taking it on a brush. For some reason with my fingers, it didn't wanna like show up that well but this is what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and blend out any harsh edges i have with the green um i'm just a little disappointed because my eyes are so dry that working with these types of colors is a little bit difficult right now but hey it happens not that everything's perfect but when my eyes are not super dry i will go ahead and do another video on this obviously but this is what everything is looking like so far that is what I am radiant looks like I want it to be a little bit more shimmery so I'm going I don't know if I'm just I'm gonna mess it up by doing this 
But I'm going to take I Am Unique, which is that shade right there. And I'm going to take it a little bit on my finger. And it looks like this swatched. Super pretty. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm just going to pack... It's got like a pink kind of undertone shimmer to it. Um, I don't really see it doing that much. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I didn't do too much, but I did a little something. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to clean everything up and just blend everything out. Blend out all the harsh edges with the yellow and the dark green in the crease. And then I'm going to be taking a little bit more of that green and I'm going to be fixing where's that brush, um, that like half cut crease kind of vibe so it blends a little bit better. I don't want it to like look super harsh or anything. I want it to look more um, blended and doing that with my fingers isn't really working. So <laughs> I want to make sure that everything is just evenly blended and yeah I will be right back and I'm gonna go ahead and do um, mascara and under eye shadow as well I'm gonna be using a little bit of that brown and that green as well and we're gonna mix the two okay so I went ahead and just put on my bare minerals foundation to cover everything up I know my body like does not match my face um, I have a spray tan on and if y'all get spray tans, y'all know that your face always fades first. So I have like a, I have to spray like a mist to like make it come back. But I'm using my Tarte blush in the shade Parte. Y'all know, y'all are the OG. This is like my go-to blush for my makeup video. Okay, so these are my Rain Lashes and the Style Emma. This was in a subscription, I believe in um, July? I think and I wanted something a little bit more natural for this look so you can see the green and gold I also think like a brown eyeliner or even black if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic would be super pretty as well so I will definitely have to make another video trying out this palette um, right here I'm just measuring out my lashes and seeing like how I want them to look but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put these bad boys right on. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. I am super obsessed, I love it. Paired with this lip, I think it's such a beautiful color. I don't think I actually said what color lip this is. This is a Sephora liquid lipstick, it's just Sephora brand, and it is in the shade, I cannot see, girl. It's shade 84. So it doesn't have a name or anything, it's just a little sample, but this is the finished look. I have my beautiful green and gold eyes. I'm obsessed with this green color. I've never really worn green eyeshadow before since I was like 12. So now that I really know how to work with it, I really am happy with it. I think it actually looks really pretty with this kind of brownish red color for fall. So yeah, that is my completed fall look using the Morphe Ashley Strong palette. If you guys are interested in buying this, I will link the whole collection down below. I only bought the palettes because I saw it at Ulta, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and help me out down below. We were at 122 subscribers. I'm so happy and proud of myself and so happy to have all y'all supporting me. Don't forget to follow my social media links down below. My Instagram and TikTok are always down below. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time.